So traditionally, a perm is designed to create curls or wave in your hair if it is completely straight. And it's been making a comeback in the hairstyling world, especially for guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down some of the different types of perm rods and a really awesome hack that doesn't have any, doesn't need any chemicals to make it happen. Okay. And that's, what's going to be unique about this. So let's talk about what you're going to need first. So I like to use a tail comb. This is what we call a tail comb. And basically it allows you to section through the hair. You can get these anywhere, especially on Amazon. So this is a tail comb. You definitely need something like this. Then you could use duckbill clips, right? These clips are designed basically just to section the hair out of the way. As you can, as you can see what we have in through here. Now the actual perm rods themselves, this is where it gets really interesting. White, right? We've got a white perm rod and it's got this elastic band right here. And what this does is I'll, as I'll get a little closer here, as you can see this little perm rod, what it does, it allows the hair to be wrapped around it. Then you close that little piece right here. And that is what secures it. This way it forms the curl. Okay. This is a white one. There are ones that are smaller than that, which creates a tighter curl. Next we've got purple. Purple is a pretty common perm rod size. If you're looking for uh, not a super tight curl, but a pretty medium tight curl, this is a very common perm rod. Then you've got a sand type colored perm rod again. So they're getting larger and larger. And then here we have a green one. This is ideal for creating really more of like a, a body wave and not as much curl. So as you can see, what we have here is four different colors and each one of these colors represents the curl pattern. So the smaller, the, the perm rod, the tighter the curl is going to be right. There's ones that I think they're, they're like pink. They're so thin that it's, it's <laughs> the curl is so tight that it's uh, it's crazy. So just keep in mind, depending on the type of look that you want and also how long your hair is, if your hair is really, really, really long, you do not want to use a white perm rod. You want something like a green or even larger so you can get more of a body wave or a loose kind of wave. Again, this is a hack, right? I'm going to use no chemicals whatsoever. Traditionally, when you're applying the perm rod to the hair, what you're doing is applying a perm solution, which chemically breaks down and changes the structure of your hair. Then you have to let that sit for a while, rinse it off, blot the perm rods off, blot the hair. So it will absorb the neutralizer, which neutralizes the perm. It locks it in, forms the curl. Then you rinse that out and then you have your perm, which is, it's not permanent, but it's, uh, it's going to stay for quite some time because what's going to happen, your natural, your natural hair growth is going to start to come in. So if your natural hair is very, very straight, it's almost like hair color. That hair is virgin, or we call virgin hair. Nothing's been done to it. So that means that you have to re perm that specific area. Okay. And the, uh, existing perm is not going to be as tight of a curl. Okay. It might loosen or soften up over time. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve this without having to use any sort of chemicals whatsoever, but you do need a perm rod or perm rods. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this. I'm actually going to do the perm, apply them, and then we will see what it looks like and discuss the next steps.
All right, so I just wanted to go over a couple of things. You want to make sure that you don't have to use the paper, what we call end papers, which are these things which I was wrapping around. That typically is just to protect the hair at a layer when you're using chemicals, but we're not using any chemicals here. So you don't have to use those papers, but you know, this is a bit more advanced. So if you're not used to doing this, right? This is, uh, I haven't done a perm in, I don't even know, like 20 years, to be honest with you. But uh, it's making a comeback, and these are just things you can do yourself to create some type of movement and some type of shape, and then you can play around with it. So a couple options, you can actually put them in your hair while your hair is damp. I always suggest doing it on damp hair, and then you can put the perm rods in and then sleep on it, and it's going to definitely give you a lot of curl in the morning. I'm just warning you, your hair is going to be very, very curly, okay? so. Then you have to use your fingers to kind of really soften it. And you don't want to shake the hair up a lot because what's going to happen is you're going to end up creating um, a, a big frizzy mess. So you have to be very, very, very careful, right? And you have to have hair that's pretty much long enough. If you just wanted to do, you know, a couple of pieces in the front just, and your hair is on the shorter side, like I'm talking maybe three inches long, maybe use the white ones or the purple and just do it maybe right in through here. Don't leave it on as long uh, or don't, you know, dry it for as long so the curl isn't set as much. And you're, whatever you do, you're going to have some sort of texture or wave to your hair that you never had before. Obviously now the last part of this is when you wash your hair, yes, the entire thing is going to become straight again. So I suggest using this method letting it sit for a few days, right? And another cool thing I did is when the perm rods were in, I actually sprayed Tidal Wave, which is my sea salt spray. It's literally the most amazing product for this type of kind of wave or curl or textured look. And you spray this on and then you blow dry it. What I did is I used the diffuser because it diffuses the heat so it's not just hot forceful air going really, really strong onto the section. This kind of helps disperse and diffuse the heat. So it's really more so a softer way to dry it. And I love doing that with any sort of curly hair. And then you can actually go back in after you take it out and spray a little more Tidal Wave in and just scrunch it. And it really, again, it depends on the type of look, but anywhere you don't put the perm rods, right? If you don't put the perm rods anywhere, it's going to be its natural you know, texture or, or um, growth pattern, which is straight in this particular situation because we're trying to make it curly. So it's going to look a little bit different, right? So that's why you have to kind of make sure that the style you do, you're incorporating a lot of scrunching and kind of working and manipulating the shape in. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below.